Hey everybody, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on long division, and we're just doing easy problems, uh, basic facts with no remainders today. So what is long division? Long division is when we use the long division symbol. Sometimes I'll call that a long division box or long division brackets. And the main focus for today's lesson is that you can use multiplication facts to solve division. It's important to know your facts and work on memorizing them. Um, but if you don't know your facts, it's okay to use a multiplication chart. There will be a, a link in the description below for a multiplication chart. But the key idea, again, is you need to know your multiplication facts to solve division problems. So let's start with the question, what is division? Division is when you separate something into equal parts, with the key word being equal. Let's start with some oranges, and we'll look at vocabulary as well. We'll start with a group of 20 oranges, and we want to use long division to divide those oranges, okay? So the 20 goes in the brackets, and that is called the dividend. The dividend is the number to be divided. Now we need to decide how we want to divide that. So let's just say if we have five baskets, and we need to uh, separate those oranges equally. The five goes on the left side of the brackets, and that is called the divisor. The divisor is the number of equal groups that we need. So we would read this problem as 20 divided by five. Next, we're going to separate the oranges equally, right? And we would get four oranges per basket that four becomes the quotient. The quotient is the answer, and it goes on top of the bracket, and it shows how many are in each group. We would read this problem as 20 divided by five equals four. We could also show it with a traditional division symbol. The dividend of 20 would go first, divided by our divisor of 5, and that would equal the quotient, or in other words, the answer of 4. And that reads the same. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Okay, so now we know the basic vocabulary and basic ideas involved uh, to do division. Division can be very confusing for a lot of students because there's a lot of steps, and sometimes students get anxious and nervous about it. But the good news is that there really is a secret to division problems, and that secret, like we said earlier, is multiplication. So let's see how that works. The key to understanding how multiplication helps you solve division is something called related facts. You might remember when you were in first or second grade and you were learning addition, right, and subtraction back then, and they start with some numbers like 4, 5, and 9, and you could uh, add them. 4 plus 5 equals 9, and you could switch the numbers, and 5 plus 4 is 9, and then you could subtract using the same numbers. 9 minus 4 equals 5, and 9 minus 5 equals 4. You had two addition facts and two subtraction facts, and they could be used interchangeably to help solve uh, addition and subtraction problems. Well, we can do the same thing with multiplication. For example, 5 times 4 equals 20, or you could switch it to 4 times 5. But we could also use the same numbers to do division. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and 20 divided by 4 equals 5. We have two multiplication facts, and two division facts that can be used interchangeably to help solve problems. And that's what we mean by our fact families or related facts. Those are related facts. Okay, let's go back to our original example and see how we can use multiplication to solve that. So 20 divided by 5. The question is, what do we multiply? We multiply the divisor times the quotient to equal the dividend. That sounds confusing, just let me show you. So, our divisor is 5 multiplied by the quotient. Now, we don't know the quotient. I'm just going to show that with a question mark right now, but we do know the dividend. So, ask yourself, 5 times what number is equal to 20? 
Well, if you know your multiplication facts, you know that its answer is going to be 4. And because of related facts, the 4 becomes our quotient, or in other words, our answer. If you're not sure how we got there, let me show you how we did it on a chart, okay? Remember, we had our divisor of 5. And we said we're using multiplication, but we're not sure what we're multiplying. Remember, that was a question mark. But we did know the dividend of 20, which we can find in that row. And if we go straight up, do you see where we get our 4? So that's how that works. You can also check your answer uh, using multiplication, which is how I do it when I grade papers. I just use multiplication. Uh, the formula there is divisor times quotient equals dividend, just the same as before, right? So 5 times 4, and that's going to equal your dividend of 20, okay? Let's try another problem, 42 divided by 6, and we're going to use our strategy of multiplication or related facts. Remember, it's our divisor of 6 times our quotient, which we don't know, so we'll just put that up as a question mark, or you could leave it as a blank, but we do know it's going to equal 42. Ask yourself, 6 times what number is equal to 42? Well, that would be 6 times 7. So because of related facts, your quotient is 7. Using a multiplication chart, we said our divisor was 6. We're using multiplication. We weren't sure exactly what number, but we did know we were using a dividend of 42. And if we look straight up, that's where we got our 7. Okay, We can check our work by multiplying our divisor times our quotient. right? So in other words, 6 times 7, and that's going to equal our dividend of 42. Great job. OK, here's some problems for you to try using our multiplication strategy. Go ahead and pause a moment and solve, and then I'll show you the answers real quick, and then we'll be done, OK? OK, how'd you do? A is 27 divided by 9. Did you get 3? Great, because using multiplication, we would have went 9 times 3, that was our missing number, would equal 27. B, 56 divided by 7. Did you get 8? Perfect because 7 times 8 is equal to 56. C is 50 divided by 5. Did you get 10? Great, because 5 times 10 equals 50, and we're using our related facts. And finally, 24 divided by 6. Did you get 4? Great, because 6 times 4 equals 24. Thank you so much. If you made it this far, great job. Keep practicing your multiplication facts because it will really help you with division. And we'll see you on the next one.